back to another video today youtube and i know it has been a while and i appreciate you all for sticking with me i've been super busy i've been caught up with school work uh, outside gigs and a clothing brand that two friends and i run so it's definitely been a lot on my plate but i'm kind of getting back into somewhat of a routine where i'm trying to balance it all so i have a couple of videos coming up but for today's video it's not going to be too long i just kind of want to overview the last campaign that we shot for our clothing brand you know show you guys some of the clips maybe talk a little bit behind it and of course show some of the sample photos from that shoot please remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and with that being said let's get right into it so for this shoot i decided to stick with three primary cameras i used my amia 645 i used my nikon l35 af and i used my reto 3d camera which was the first time that I'd used a camera like this and I'm super excited to show you guys what some of those shots looked like and how they came out the first model was Logan and so um, we essentially started our shoot here where I was kind of looking for like something that resembled a tunnel but was you were able to see a little bit of the city or kind of get like a city feel to it um and you know i just kind of wanted that whole vibe to where it's just like enclosed but it's also very open so i wanted somewhere with good lighting so we decided to shoot here and i think the shots came out a lot better than i had expected so um some of the shots that you're looking at are the shots from the nikon l35 af i didn't use i didn't take too many shots on the mamiya here i used primarily the nikon and the rito so here are some of the shots from the rito 3d camera as you can see it has that 3d effect when you kind of stitch the pictures together because for those of you that aren't used to it it takes essentially three pictures at once and then you go on the back end once developed and you kind of put them all together so it essentially uses half of a frame per shot so each shot is about a frame and a half yeah no i thought this was um a super dope location to shoot at but i think logan was a phenomenal model i think she really gave the look that we were looking for and i think overall the pictures that came out from this scene was top tier okay so let's move into the second scene where logan was modeling the fla short and so now this one i decided to take more shots using the 3d camera and the mamiya 645 it probably been almost four maybe five months since i'd actually shot with the 645 and i missed focus a couple times and it was so weird for me because this was like the camera that taught me almost everything about film photography and it was weird to to be making mistakes nonetheless i think we got some good shots kind of showcasing the details but i feel like had i been a little bit on point or a little bit better I would have gotten some really good shots of logan in this location but nonetheless appreciate her and i uh, hope you guys are enjoying some of the shots as i'm talking through them but yeah i also took a couple of shots on the 3d camera and the 3d camera shots i think came out okay the the lighting was pretty harsh so sometimes when the lighting is really harsh you really just don't have too much that you can expect from the quality of the photos so um nonetheless though like i said i think they all still came out really nice i think we still had enough pictures to choose from for us to post um from both of the shoots so i think it it came out really well okay so now let's transition into the shoot for fred so uh once again really appreciate fred for doing this um for us and you know this shoot both marty and i were using our nikon l35 afs primarily and i also took a couple of shots on my olympus xa2 which i'll put in here you can hardly tell the difference between that and my nikon but it's still good to know that you know i have a really reliable 35 millimeter backup um and but i think these pictures came out really really phenomenal uh the flash on the nikon l35 af is un matched everybody knows that if you have one and if you don't now you do i think it really gives you that nice 90s aesthetic and i think it makes the photo look really really good and it's just the the 
the saturation it just it all looks really good and um i don't know if i preface this but we were using kodak gold 200 for every single picture that we took so uh yeah just a little bit of background and i think maybe we might have taken a couple using lamography 400 but i'm not sure regardless though kodak gold 200 was primarily the one that we decided to stick to but yeah i think the garage shots of fred were freaking great and after we shot those i, I don't know why but i kind of wanted something where like he was pulling uh something out of a fridge at like a gas station or like a bodega or something so we drove to a local gas station and we had him essentially act as if he was pulling something out of the fridge and i, I think the the photos came out you know really good i, I think the detail on it is is shown uh, you know we really tried our best to, to to get as many shots from as many different angles as we could so that way when we were deciding on the back end which pictures that we were going to choose uh, that we had those options I think they came out great I think we had a good amount to choose from and personally I think we really enjoyed shooting the campaign for this particular drop besides that we made some small videos check out our Instagram if you wanted to see more of that content essentially I think that drop went really well and I think the campaign for it went really well a uh, quick update on what's to come so for those of you that don't know i made a video where i said that i was selling my fuji ga645 and i most definitely did end up selling it but um yeah i realized that i liked it a lot more than i thought you know it's just me being indecisive what's new so i ended up buying it again but I think it's going to be, you know, okay. And I think we're going to put it to some good use because I have a couple of really cool videos coming up. Um, I definitely want to do a video where I compare this Kodak gold for medium format. And I essentially want to compare it to the 35 millimeter uh, Kodak gold 200 as I use this one primarily every time that I take shoots on my 35 millimeter. So I really want to see how it compares from a medium point and shoot to a 35 millimeter point and shoot and to see how you know they match up like if if you know the detail is much better you know all that's all that good stuff we're gonna get all into it i'm also uh saving this ektar 100 that i want to primarily use when my girlfriend and i go on vacation but regardless though i think we have um i think i have a couple of good videos coming up so i'm sorry again you all for such a long gap i promise to not do it again um it's just been a lot so really trying to balance it all i also have some mammography 400 in medium format that i'm super excited to shoot because i typically like my film a little bit more saturated but regardless um thank you so much guys for sticking with me thank you so much for supporting the channel as we continue to strive to get to 1k thank you so much for all the love and until the next one peace